Black holes are among the most mysterious and powerful objects in the known universe. Formed from the collapsed remnants of massive stars, their immense gravitational pull is capable of warping space-time itself. At their core lies a gravitational singularity, a point where matter is infinitely dense and space-time curves infinitely. While black holes exist throughout the cosmos, our solar system has so far been spared a close encounter with one of these cosmic beasts. In this video, we will delve into the profound implications and cataclysmic events that would unfold if our planets were to encounter the gravitational embrace of a rogue black hole. The odds of a black hole passing through the inner solar system are extremely low, but not impossible. Black holes form all across the universe as massive stars die in supernova explosions. Some may be flung out into interstellar space, wandering alone through the galaxy. Estimates suggest there could be millions of free-floating black holes within the Milky Way alone. However, the galaxy is immense, over 100,000 light-years in diameter. For a rogue black hole to encounter our solar system randomly would require an incredibly precise trajectory. If we assume a medium-sized 10 solar mass black hole was ejected from its parent galaxy due to gravitational interactions, it would be traveling at high speeds, perhaps hundreds of kilometers per second. At those velocities, it could cross the entire galaxy in just a few million years. But to pass within a light year of the Sun would require an accuracy of better than one part in a billion. Statistically, such a close encounter should only happen once every hundred billion years or longer. So while possible in theory, the odds are stacked heavily against us. Let's imagine, against astronomical odds, that a 10 solar mass black hole does wander into the outskirts of our solar system. From such a distance beyond Neptune's orbit, we would have no direct indication that danger was approaching. The black hole would be invisible, emitting no light or radiation of its own. But its gravity would begin warping space-time, subtly altering the orbits of planets and asteroids. Astronomers may first notice slight changes and perturbations in the orbits of distant Kuiper Belt objects on the fringes of our solar system. Normally, following stable elliptical paths around the Sun, these icy worlds would experience small orbital shifts over months or years. Tracking their motions closely could reveal the presence of an unseen perturbing mass on the edges of the solar system. As the black hole drifted closer to the orbit of Neptune and Uranus, 30 to 40 astronomical units from the Sun, its effects would become more pronounced over 5 to 10 years. The orbits of the ice giant planets would begin to visibly change shape under the black hole's influence. Their orbital periods may increase or decrease slightly. Eccentricities would grow, causing their orbits to become more elliptical over time. Astronomers would scramble to determine the cause, but the invisible intruder would remain elusive. Detailed modeling of the ice giant's changing orbits could provide clues to the mass and trajectory of the perturbing object. By the time the black hole reached the orbit of Saturn, nine astronomical units out, panic would be setting in as its presence was confirmed. When the black hole crossed Saturn's orbit, the effects on the outer planets would be dramatic. The orbits of the gas giants Jupiter and Saturn would be noticeably warped within a year. Their orbital periods would change by days or weeks. Tidal forces from the black hole's extreme gravity would also begin to stretch and squeeze the planets over five to ten years, heating their interiors. Jupiter and Saturn's moons would experience orbital changes and tidal distortions. Impacts between their many small moons may increase. The gravitational tug between Jupiter and Saturn would be altered, causing their Trojan asteroids to become unstable. 
Some may be ejected from the solar system while others find new stable resonances. With the black hole now inside the orbit of Uranus, Earth would experience its first subtle effects within months. The pull from the additional mass would cause Earth's orbit to change shape slightly, becoming more elliptical each year. Our planet's rotation may also speed up or slow down a tiny fraction of a second each day in response. But we would have no direct way to see the black hole approaching yet. As it closed to within the orbit of Mars, the effects would become truly dramatic, playing out over five to ten years. Mars's orbits would be severely perturbed, causing it to cross paths with the Earth's altered orbit on rare occasions. Collisions between Earth and Mars or asteroids became a possibility for the first time in the solar system's history. By the time the black hole reaches the orbit of Mars one and a half astronomical units out, it would be clearly visible to professional telescopes as a dark void in space, a light year across. It would be unmistakably distorting and capturing asteroids, comets and space debris in its intense gravity well. Earth's orbit would be noticeably elliptical, varying our distances from the Sun by tens of millions of kilometers each year. Seasons would become more extreme. The Moon's orbit would also change dramatically over months, threatening to bring it closer to Earth or fling it out of orbit entirely. Massive tidal forces from the black hole would start to tear at Earth itself, triggering earthquakes, volcanic eruptions and tsunamis on a global scale. Plate tectonics may accelerate as the planet expands and contracts under the stress. The length of our days and years would fluctuate wildly. As the black hole closed to within the orbit of Venus 0.7 astronomical units from the Sun, it would appear enormous in our sky, larger in apparent size than the full moon. Its gravity would be warping and shredding everything in its path, playing out over mere weeks. Earth would be experiencing gravity gradients 100 times stronger than normal as the black hole's immense mass towered above us. Our planet would be stretched into a long, thin, ellipsoid shape, its solid surface cracking as it expanded and contracted erratically. The Moon may have been captured or flung away by tidal forces by this point. If not, its highly elliptical new orbit would bring it skimming through the atmosphere periodically. The black hole's intense gravity would shear Earth apart, layer by layer, as it was drawn ever closer to the singularity at the black hole's core. Within a month, the mantle and outer core would peel away from Earth's shrinking core. Tremendous geological forces would tear continents apart and eject much of the atmosphere into space. Two weeks later, only the inner core would remain along with a thin shell of the crust. Within hours, there would be nothing left of our planet but a stream of debris, rock, metal, gases, falling eternally into the black hole. The light from our sun would be dimmed to a pinprick as space-time curved exponentially. And just like that, in the span of a few short months, Earth and all its life would be no more. With Earth consumed, the black hole would continue on its way, having wreaked havoc across the inner solar system. Mars and Venus would likely share Earth's fate, along with the asteroids and Trojan companions of those worlds. Mercury's small mass and proximity to the Sun might allow it to avoid capture, though its orbit would be severely perturbed. The gas giants Jupiter and Saturn may have their orbits permanently altered but would survive the encounter, though some of their moons may be lost. After devastating the terrestrial planets, the black hole would continue on into the outer solar system, its work done in our neighborhood for now. But its passage would have forever changed the face of the solar system and marked the end of life on Earth. If the black hole passed near but just outside the orbit of Neptune, 
it could have a grazing encounter with the solar system. This would profoundly alter the orbits of planets from Neptune inward over centuries. Life on Earth may survive but face dramatic climate shifts as our orbit and axial tilt vary greatly. Rather than passing through, there's a small chance the black hole's gravity could capture one or more gas giants into orbit around it. Jupiter may be pulled from the solar system along with any moons or trojans. The black hole would continue on with its new planetary companions in tow. In the hypothetical scenario of Earth being swallowed by a rogue black hole, the consequences would be catastrophic, emphasizing the fragility of our existence in the cosmos. While such a scenario remains speculative, it underscores the importance of understanding celestial phenomena and exploring strategies for planetary survival. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more intriguing explorations of the universe.